This is my homemade fuel injector flow bench. I framed it up out of some 2x4s to hold everything together. We have a stock truck uh, return style LS fuel rail with stock truck injectors that I have decapped and some 250 milliliter graduated cylinders. And then I've got two bus bars that I got from the junkyard. One on the top is all my positive connections and the one on the bottom is all my negative connections. And this white bucket is our fuel tank. We've got a Walbro 255 pump and we're running mineral spirits because it's safer than gasoline doing this indoors and uh, it's doing a pretty good job of of cleaning out uh, the injectors so far too. This started off as clear so all that discoloration is varnish and deposits that I've already been able to clean out from these injectors just pulsing them through a couple times. I've got two toggles up here on the right side of the bench. This one on the left turns the fuel pump on and off and then this one on the right is a manual override to manually open uh, hold open the fuel injectors. And to pulse the injectors for the flow test, we have this Arduino board with some custom code running on it that a buddy and I wrote. And it connects to a 5 volt relay, which switches the negative side of the injectors, just like it would uh, in a real application. So let's go ahead and fire this thing up. Turn our fuel pump on. Got pressure. And then to start this thing, I just press that button right there on the Arduino board. So, let's start it off. There's going to be three 10 second blasts, approximately, whenever I start it. And the first one will be representative of something close to light throttle cruising. The second uh, run of pulses will be something closer to part mid throttle. And then the last one will be something pretty close to wide open throttle. So here we go. I'll press the button once. It'll fire the injectors once before it rolls into its, uh, its thing. So here we go. So now we'll turn the fuel pump off, we'll hit the manual override, hold the injectors open for a few seconds, let anything purge out that may be in there still, turn that back off. So as you can see, the first three are reasonably close, you could probably use those. And this one on the far right, it's pretty low compared to the others, so we'll probably have to toss it and grab another one and get something a little closer to these first three. Now, this rig has been pretty good so far for observing the spray patterns of these injectors as they're working and cleaning them, just recycling this solvent through has helped a lot. And uh, this, this yellow discoloration, definitely from the fuel deposits. And uh, of course, last but not least, the flow testing aspect of it. So, here you go. DIY homemade fuel injector flow bench made out of nothing more exotic than lumber scraps and rusty truck parts. <laughs>